Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So let me give you a little bit of context. That's Rob and I, we're at the top of Fremont and we are about to zip line from one side to the other side. It was incredibly nerve wracking. I will probably never do it again, but I'm glad I did it. Going to Vegas and meeting up with Rob and Chris was absolutely incredible. Wink was there too. And let me tell you, when you get the, the group of us in the same room, things happen. Magic happens and laughs are had. These boys are two of the most inspirational, motivational sons of guns I've ever met. And they know how to inspire. They know how to just keep a guy motivated. And boy, was it fun. Like communist. No, I can never ever get back all the things I missed. But I'm that man, they think you got the gist. Got your tulips in a twist. Oh, oh. Good morning, day one. We're in the Airbnb. Uh, wow, we got a big day ahead of us today. It's gonna be go, go, go. We got, we got to get to the bank. We got a photo shoot. We got to meet up. We've got. Man, we got a lot going on today. Not to mention, I gotta buy some luggage because the airport lost my luggage, so I need to buy some shit. But, wow, what a day. Ooh, and we're already getting our roll on, baby. So, a little uh, behind the scenes. It's fucking cold, man. I think it's like uh, 70, 65, 60, I don't know, 55 degrees freedom units. We got a truck backing up behind me here. Oh man, we're gonna we're at a photo shoot right now. <laughs> These pictures are gonna be amazing. I'm gonna show them to you when they're live. Huge shout out to Muffin B. Puffin. We met up with her last year at Vegas and she is just an absolutely incredible professional. She's so good at keeping us feel comfortable and she's very hospitable. So thank you for her work. Boom, that's where you'll find her on Instagram. The next day was huge. It was MJ BizCon day one. All right, well, here we are. We've made it to the Las Vegas Convention Center and it's day one of MJ BizCon. I got our boys here and we're gonna meet Mr. Grow It uh, probably in like the next 45 minutes or so, but we're gonna smoke about it. You guys already know. So I'll try to keep you guys up to date as best I can. Uh, only got my uh, phone this time because I didn't want to lug around my big bag this time. So we'll see. Oh my God, look how far I pulled ahead. Jesus. Uh, like me in real life. Yeah, that one, I pull up. We pull up. Pigeons does not pull up. day one day one at mj bizcon it was uh it was a lot to be honest with you a lot of walking day one day one people behind you look at all the smoke a lot of people back there a lot of walking i didn't get my shoes so i'm still wearing boots you got the hey dudes brought to you by hey bro and guy and yo <laughs> so uh we're gonna go kick it on fremont tonight i think that's what it's next Let's go. We're back. We're back. It's been a year. We're at the home of the Habanero Pickleback. Got a couple of shots coming up right now, and you know we had to come back. You know we had to come back. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky, I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. All right, so we're uh, now on. Nervous. We're doing a zip line. I even have glasses holders to be safe, 100%. I'm nervous as shit. And this young lady, this young lady's gonna help us. Yeah. Like that. Here we go. Oh, oh. It's America. So we're going up. We're in the zip line. We're in the elevator of doom. These guys laughing at us. Shout out to our boy here. Yeah. Safety first. He knows his shit. He's taking over already. Too much of the game. He's running this shit. Too much of the game. He's running this shit, son. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I didn't know we were going this high. Oh, fuck yeah, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't look this high down there. 
Whoa. Is it too late to change my mind? Oh, wow. Yeah. Don't ask, just do. At least you know. I appreciate you saying yeah. What he said? Yeah, you will. He said, yeah, I will get kicked out if I let my butt up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. We had a vape though, no one take that shit over there. I'm telling you right now, we're screwing sticking with this vape. Cause I found my way. All right, so you guys already know. We shut down Fremont. Uh, Fremont pretty much said, all right, is FTS leaving? We're like, yeah, FTS is out, bro. And they're like, all right, we're shutting this shit down. So we shut it down. Now we're waiting for William. William's, William's gonna make sure that we're gonna get home safe and probably get some little munch, I'm thinking. I'm hungry as fuck. I said yesterday, I looked into the barbecue joint, but then it said gourmet. Gourmet means expensive. Gourmet is expensive. We had those gourmet fucking wings that were made just out of bowl. The hotel and casino right there. We started here last time. We asleep right remember there. Remember that last year? This is exactly the start. This is my vlog. My vlog. The cops are all right there. Oh, you're right. And this is right there. Is back. this here? Back. You're right. Yeah. I remember it. Yep, I remember it all. Bro, it's all coming back. Deja vu. Deja Vegas. You know what I'm back here, baby. Oh, even the parking garage is have lights. Yeah. We're back here. Huh? It all comes full circle. Huh. We're gonna be taking advantage of. All right. MJ BizCon, day two. Day two, MJ BizCon was by far the best day. We did everything. We met up with the team from ACI. We were hanging out with Basement Auto Flowers, up formerly known as Basement Grow Show. We we saw everyone there. We ran into the Cannabis Talks podcast. We even seen Dan Herrer from the Jack Herrer Brands. That's Jack Herrer's son. We blazed on his dispensary bus at MJ BizCon. So, and we blaze some hella fire weed, even some unreleased exclusive product. It was incredible. It was so much fun. Exclusive Jack Herrer brands. It's, uh, it's uh, our Jack Live resin. Day three turned out to be pretty incredible. We ran into some pretty amazing people. We seen Exhibit. There was Trick Trick. Red Man was there. But that held nothing to what we were going to get ourselves into later that night. It was the high times. MJ Biz Bash 4.0. It was kind of like an after party, if you will. And Red Man and Method Man did a show. And let me tell you, it was absolutely phenomenal watching these two guys perform. I managed to catch a, a Cookies sweater. Red Man threw it right at me. He was like, yo, pigeons, let me get, let me hit you this. But he didn't really, but he met, he tried to throw it at me. He just missed by about four feet to my right and about six feet above my head. But you know what? I snagged it, man. I got down on my toes and I reached up and I grabbed that sweater. I felt so proud of myself. I thought I was going to give it to my boy, but it turned out it fit me and it's a nice sweater. So what do you know? Oh, and you already know that your boy blazed a blunt at the concert. Show to Rob. Day three, MJ BizCon. Wow. We did Red Man and Method Man last night at the High Times uh, MJ BizCon after party event. It's a mouthful, but we did it. It was absolutely amazing. My throat is absolutely wretched right now. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear it in yours. Yeah. Yeah. Super deep. Yeah, we was up all night. We was up all night. Doing all want I want a hoodie. Got a hoodie. I caught it. I caught it over the crowd. It's incredible. Yeah. Now we got to go to the bank. We got to do a little bit of admin stuff, and then uh, we're gonna meet up with Chris and do uh, MJ BizCon day three, baby. Last day. Sweet. Let's do it. All right, MJ BizCon final day. We are going to be checking out the consumption side of things, heading up to the top floor. It's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be live today on YouTube as well. Yeah, we're gonna have fun. MJ BizCon, third day, was probably the least exciting. By this point, we had already seen everything. We had wandered upstairs, we had been downstairs, we met up with everyone we wanted to see. So really, we were just 
walking the beat to get the beat done at that point. So we were just itching to get out of there because we had some incredible events left in store. We had to go go karting. We had to go indoor skydiving, which was so cool. We ran into Redman while we were skydiving. He came along with us. It, it was so cool. We we met up with him. We chatted. We did the training together. It was really cool. And the go-karts was, was so cool. It was so wicked to be able to zip around at like 45 miles an hour and just tear a strip down the speedway. Uh, lots and lots of fun. But one of the highlights to the entire trip was by far the high rollers jujitsu. We're standing in the High Rollers Jiu Jitsu headquarters, and let me tell you, we're amongst royalty over Rob here. Van Rob Van Dam. We've run into Stefan Bonner. We've run into, oh my God, we've run into everyone out here. We run into Stunna, which is Wiz Khalifa's cousin, also the producer of Tanks. The, the, the TV show where they come in and like they haul over your fish tank and they do like these massive extravagant things. Yeah, yeah, they do it. That's the guy. Sorry, so uh, I had my, I've got my phone backwards only because uh, I was hanging onto my water. So just to get a quick little look around, the big sponsor of the club is uh, Jardine. Oh, hardy. It's, it's a soft J. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm I'm uncultured. <laughs> He's Canadian. So it's uh, <laughs> it's their brother. Jardin. It's their Jardin. <laughs> okay. So uh, you may or may not have heard of them. It's their brother. Um, <laughs> Cookies sponsors this place. Doctor Dabber sponsors this place. Uh, Khalifa Kush sponsors this place. Yeah, check it out. Absolutely beautiful. Oh. Brother, you having fun? wild man it's really really cool i can't believe they do this every single month every month stream. high rollers jiu-jitsu yep yep you'll be able to check it out i'll put a link in the description this is an organization that promotes cannabis use and athleticism particularly jiu-jitsu train smoke repeat it is, it is a wicked kind of slogan to live by, and that's what these guys do. They live by this slogan. And Wes, the, guy, the, the guys over there with High, high Rollers Jiu-Jitsu, they did an incredible job at making From the Stash feel welcome. They're very hospitable. Everybody was incredibly kind. We talked to just so many names. I don't want to drop them all. That's how, that's how awkward it feels. But let me tell you, it was so much fun. I think you're going to be seeing us a little more often coming live from that location. But I'm not gonna give away any secrets. All right, six o'clock in the morning. Mrs. P and I, we gotta hit the road. I got no voice left. It's been the craziest week of my life. It's a great time, guys. We'll see you back in Canada. Rob, Chris, you two are absolutely incredible men. I appreciate our friendship, our relationship. I can't believe we've accomplished what we've accomplished in just such little time. And I cannot wait to see where the future takes us. Boys, that one's for you. Everyone else, thank you for believing in us. Thank you for supporting us. Your love and support in the comment sections in real life uh, are so, so motivational. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you for being a part of From the Stash. Thank you for being a part of the flock. And as I exit, I want to give a huge shout out to AC Infinity. They actually sponsored half of From the Stash's trip. And it's because of them that we're able to do these kind of things. So if you guys want to show a little love, if you go to acinfinity.com, use promo code THESTASH15. It'll, th it'll, it'll save you a few dollars off at checkout, and it'll thank them or us for being a sponsor of the show. You guys have a great day. Much love. We'll catch you on the next one.